Good morning dear students. Welcome to today's class. Today we are going to learn regular falsy method. The formula used for solution is x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. This is the formula. x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. So we are having the question, find the root of equation f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. By regular falsy method, correct to 4 decimal places. This is the question. f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. So I will write it down. f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. 5. So we have to find where the root lies. For that, for this x, substitute the values 1, 2, 3 and so on and find it. First I am substituting x as 1. So 1 cube minus 2 into 1 minus 5 and you will get minus 6. Then f of 2, that is substituting 2 for x, 2 cube minus 2 into 2 minus 5 and there you will get minus 1. Next f of 3 and that is 3 cube minus 2 into 3 minus 5 and there you will get 16. Now you got f of 2 is equal to minus 1 and f of 3 is equal to 16. That's, this is negative value and this is positive value. So when you get like this, that is for the consecutive numbers, when you get positive and negative, that means the root lies between these two values. So you can write, therefore, root lies between 2 and 3. And you can write, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to Three because we have to get the values for a and b for doing the calculation. So a is equal to 2 first value and b is equal to 3 the second value. Now you have to find the values for x1 and f of x1 and so on. So we know the formula is x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. So first we will find x1 is equal to a value is 2, b value is 3, f of a is minus 1 and f of b is 16. So 2 into 16 minus 3 into minus 1 divided by 16 minus minus 1. So while solving you will get 2.05882. So this we got for x1. Now you have to find f of x1. f of x1 means we are having the formula x cube minus 2x minus 5. So since this is f of x1, x1 cube minus 2x1 minus 5. Substituting 2. 0, 5, 8, 8, 2, the whole cube minus 2 into 2.05882 minus 5. You will get minus 0 0.39 and that is a negative value. Now for the ease of the solution, we will prepare a table. That is x and a, b, x and f of x. First iteration 1. The b value, a value at the starting it was 2. b value is 3. We got x as 2.058 and f of x as minus 0 0.39. So this was negative. Output was negative and when it was 2, we got as negative value and we got 3, we got it as positive value. 
now we have to do for the go for the second iteration since f of x we got negative and here the value is negative for a it was negative while starting so this value that is a value will be replaced by this value a value will be replaced by this value so here 2.058 this same that is if it, this was positive means this will replace over here since this is negative negative is here so this will be replaced here so you get like this now you have to find x2 so x2 is equal to again here a is 2.058 b is the same thing f of a is minus 0.39 f of b is 16 which we got previously so 2.058 into 16 minus 3 into minus 0.39 divided by 16 minus minus 0.39 and you get 2.08121 so substituting the values in the equation given equation we will get f of x2 is equal to 2.08121 cube minus 2 into 2.08 1 to 1 minus 5 and you will get negative 0 0.147 that is also again a negative value so here we write x as 2.08121 and f of x as this value so 2.08121 f of x is negative 0 0.147 so same way when we continue we will get x3 x3 as 2.08957 and f of x3 as negative 0 0.055 so this we get for x3 Now I have done it already. X4 you will get 2.09268. F of X4 negative 0 0.02. That is negative value. X5 this 2.09381. F of XY minus 0 0.008. X6 this one. X7. X8. X9. X10. And X11. Say so this our question is up to four digit you have to calculate the square root here one two three four for x9 it is zero nine four five here also point zero nine four five here also point zero nine four five see this is repeating zero nine four five zero nine four five zero nine four five since the values are similar over here four decimal places the values are similar so you can conclude root of the equation is 2.0945 corrected to four decimal places. So this is the way how regular falsi method can be done. Hope this is clear dear students. Thank you.